Hi, and welcome to part two of my tutorials on Filmora of editing dash cam footage. Today we're going to be looking at picture in picture, which is ideal if you have two cameras or a two camera system, which is front and rear, and you want to display the picture from both at the same time. It's very, very easy to do in Filmora, very easy indeed. First of all, if you look down here, we've got our video tracks, video track one, video track two. We've got our front film and we've got our rear film. So what we do is we put our front film on video track one. We then get our rear film and we put that on video track two. That's it. Now, to actually get the picture in picture, all we need to do is click track two to make it active. Come over to this screen here, double click it. That calls up our menu. Now, very simple, just get a grab handle and move it there we go look and then you can drag this picture in picture wherever you want to on the screen i have it up here because that seems natural to me because that's imitating the car's rear view mirror and just to prove that it works you can play and there we go now both my clips lined up because they were both filmed by the same camera but sometimes clips don't line up now it's very easy to line clips up in Filmora. Let's take an example of a clip that doesn't line up. Let's just move this out. To line the clips up, you can move either clip up or down the timeline. Now, if we look at this now and drag the playhead to here, these clips don't line up. As you can see, I've just passed a red phone box, but it's quite some time later until the rear camera passes the red phone box. So what we do is we pick an object at the side of the road and we use that to line the cameras up with. I'm going to choose these bollards here. On the front camera, I choose these bollards here. The trick is to move the image from the rear camera until you can just see those bollards in the rear camera after the car has passed it. I estimate it takes about three seconds to pass those bollards. So what we need to do is we need to adjust the rear so that it's three seconds later. And all we do is by dragging it along the timeline, we can do that. So three seconds later, it should be about there. Let's just check. Yep, there we go. Three seconds later, the bollards passed. And that's how you drag it. You can drag either timeline backwards or forwards along. You can drag you can drag either clip backwards or forwards along the timeline until you match them up. But like I said, if you film them on the same camera, then that's absolutely fine. They should match up straight away. The only other thing is that I've got audio on both cameras. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the volume down on the top camera, the rear camera, so that it's non-existent, so that you can't hear any audio from that camera. That's it. That is how you do picture in picture on Filmora, one of the simplest things in the world. Look out for more tutorials coming from me later.